a new development reported today in cancer detection. Johnson & Johnson will join forces with scientists in Boston on a new blood test that can spot a single cancer cell among a billion healthy ones. Bloomberg's Shannon Pettypiece is here with the details. This is fascinating. Yeah, and we've had so many uh, setbacks in cancer research this year, so it's really exciting to see a prominent, uh, promising one. And basically what this does here is help diagnose cancer at the very earliest stages. So as soon as a cancer has spread outside the area where it originated in, like the pancreas or the prostate, you'll be able to see a cancerous cell in the blood. And all doctors have to do is take a couple tablespoons of blood, put it on a microchip with all these little posts on it, and if you have a cancerous cell, it'll stick to one of these posts, and then doctors will know that your cancer is spreading, something we really haven't been able to do until now. How soon until this is... I guess up and running. Right. Well, with Johnson & Johnson joining in today, that really helps. This is already being tested at four hospitals across the country, including uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering in New York. Um, but Johnson & Johnson is the one who's going to commercialize this. Right now, this has been in the lab. They'll be able to put the money behind this to get this approved by the FDA. It isn't approved by the FDA yet. That needs to happen. Uh, but once they have that, they'll be able to really sell this on a large scale. So hopefully, the hope is that for every cancer patient out there, they'll eventually get this blood test to be able to see if they're their tumor is spreading. Shannon, you cover the pharmaceutical industry and you've seen a lot of these advancements and breakthroughs. In all of your reporting, you, I guess you can't stress enough how important early detection is. And this is, yeah. we're talking so early, before it's even had a chance to metastasize, right? right? And pancreatic cancer is a great example of that. Uh, there's been basically no advances in developing treatments for pancreatic cancer because by the time you're diagnosed, it's too late. The only way to know that you have it is once it's really progressed to the stage where it's too late. So once the tumor has, has spread that far, it has grown to that side, it's basically impossible to stop it. So this would be an example where maybe someone who's at high risk or maybe someone who's previously had cancer would get this blood test theoretically and be able to tell if they have a tumor that's, that is spreading throughout their body in the very early stages. And that's going to help drug makers develop these, these treatments earlier on. And we should mention this wasn't the only milestone advanced cell technology getting clearance today for its test, embryonic stem cells in humans. How, how significant is this? This is very significant. We only have... To, advanced stem cells in one other company, Geron, which are working on embryonic stem cell treatments that are being tested in humans. We've heard so much talk about embryonic stem cells. Now we're finally seeing some being tested in humans. And again, what Advanced Cell Technologies is doing, uh, they've finally gotten it out of animal testing. They're going to test it on just 12 patients to start off with. Patients who have a, a form of blindness called macular degeneration, which is the leading form of blindness in people over 60. It's a, a 15 million people in America have it, a very debilitating condition. So the, the hope is that by injecting embryonic stem cells into the eyes, they'll help regrow these eye cells that these people need to be able to see again. And Shannon, just very quickly, and any concerns about uh, issues of using embryonic stem cells? Yeah, well, the, the fear here is that either the body will reject these embryonic stem cells the way sort of they would reject a, a bone marrow transplant or a new organ, or that they could form into tumors, that they could get into the body and sort of grow out of control. That's been the fear with embryonic stem cells. So that's why they're taking a very slow approach. They're just going to start with one patient. If that looks promising, they'll move on. Hopefully they'll get 12 others and then move into a larger scale testing. Um, but of mm. course, we know there's been a lot of controversy about embryonic stem cells from the ethical standpoint, yep. too. So that's an issue here as well. All right. Shannon Pettypiece joining us. Shannon, thanks so much. Great. Appreciate Thank it. You. Turning out to the travel industry.